Hello everybody and welcome to Knaves World Extended. This is the first in what is hopefully going to be quite a long series. We're going to be doing this map as a let's play until the release of FS17 which is going to be on the 25th of October of this year. So really looking forward to that. But first of all we do need to do the rest of Thornton Farm and all of this series as well. So we've got plenty to be getting on with. I think actually this might be the last Farming Simulator 15 let's play which I start. Obviously we've got two to finish but Yes, there is plenty to do. So, yes, we have started off with everything we finished Knaveswell version 1 with. I think this was the best thing to do because we earned the stuff we got. And uh, if we start from the beginning, it's going to take forever to get back to where we were. So, this is what we have. We have the class Axos 340, which is a very handy tractor to have around the yard. Also, it does have the front loader brackets. The Fent 820. It's our, I think it's our highest horsepower tractor with the Stuart trailer. The Simba cultivator, John Deere 6910, obviously the in-game mixer, the in-game windrower and mowers. And down here we have got the conveyor, the universal trailer, bucket, front weights and stuff, spreader, you can probably remember anyway, this is just for people who are new to the series. We do have a lorry as well. New Holland Telehandler. There is the lorry. We used it for about two episodes last time in the previous series. Um, it's, an, it's a modified version of the base game man or MAN truck. Got the plow, pottinger, uh, a sprayer and bale shredder. Slurry spreader over there. And I think, except for the little shed we have down here, that is everything. Let me just check. Actually, we do still have the Fent 512C at the shop. Now, everywhere we've seen so far has been in the first version. But no, if you've seen the first look video at this map, you'll have seen how much stuff there is. This is an action-packed map. There is so much to go and see. I am recording this at 60 frames per second. You might get a frame drop every now and then. Not too sure why he did it then. Um, I'm guessing it's just sort of loading that area of the map. Once I've been there once, it should be fine. Now what we're going to do first of all is take a look at the shed we erected last time because it was in a field. Now it could be in the middle of a crop if there's a crop in the field which it's now in. In fact, everything has been left where I left it. That is great. I have transferred the XML file, the vehicle XML file, which means we pretty much do continue from where we left off, just a different version. The money is the same, the vehicles are the same, there is a weird bale here, and the shed is in the middle of the maze field, so that is all weird, but that was understandable. Uh, so, <laughs> there is a dominator in there too. What we should probably do, because this map is so much bigger, and there is more storage, just look at that, we don't actually need that shed, so we're going to get rid of it. It was handy, but yeah, with this version, it's not necessary. So there it is. Goodbye. And there is some stuff in there, actually. We've got a sea drill and the Dominator Combine Harvester. Even the gates are left open. It's like we never went. So we'll shut that. Oh, we don't even own the field. Oh, we're starting off from square one. We do have saw mod two. Uh, yeah, the fields which we own are totally different, actually. Before we had field eight, nine, ten, nineteen. They're, they're, we don't own them anymore. We do have twenty. We have one, two, sixteen, one, ten, sixty-five, sixty, fifty-eight, fifty-six. Actually, quite a lot. So, we're going to be definitely farming a different area. Why did I? not change the control for notes mod again again I can't believe it now I'm stuck I am actually stuck no there there yes yes I'm sorry it looks really bad um, even my subscribers wrote me a note and I still forgot in fact I'm gonna do it after this episode there is no doubt about it I am sick to death of making that mistake we even still have the silage belt up there. I'm sure they'll be ready to use now. And there is also the vintage pack as well, which we were using at the end of series one. 
Right, so we're going to go left out of here. I should have taken the trailer off before. That's not looking too good. Uh, but yes, we'll drop it off now just up here. And my effort for this series is to be a bit tidier. I'm quite a scruffy player, I know. I do make a bit of a mess, so we'll be a bit neater, hopefully. And we'll just try and get this in here. I have adjusted the degrees of rotation on my steering wheel, and it's kind of messing things up a bit. You know what, I don't know if I can actually run this map on 60 frames per second. It seems to be dropping more than I was hoping. It is obviously a big map, so it's kind of understandable. But it would have been nice. I'm getting about 35 frames per second, which is a lot better than I used to do. I used to do it at 24, but it's not what I was hoping. Um, this computer is actually upgraded pretty well, so... I'm surprised. That's 40. 40 frames per second. That's okay. Well, if, if it doesn't come across too bad, it doesn't. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Well, it's only a test. I was hoping it would go a bit better than this, but clearly my computer um, is lacking the strength somewhere. Does anybody know what it would be? Because it's a new graphics card, pretty good one. Got loads of RAM, 32 gig of RAM. I'm just going to have to drive through this, I think. Um, I also have 2 terabyte high-speed hard drive. Uh, the processor is an Intel i5, so that could be upgraded, I suppose. But, yeah, otherwise, I think it's pretty good, really. I've got 48 there, 48 frames per second. It's set to 60, but it can't manage it. Oh, well. It's not too bad. You get these spikes. Right, so I've actually forgotten much of this map because it was a while since I did the first look video. So I will have to refresh my memory quite a bit. Uh, but that'll be easy enough. We're not going to hang around this area. We will be spreading to the new area. And actually that is where most of our new fields are anyway. Most of them are around Dorset stores. Let me just get this thing in here. Oh, degrees of rotation. It's amazing how it affects my driving. Terrible. Yep, we're not going to make a habit of this. This is just for the uh, start of the video. Just going to get this thing out of the way. I'm not going to put the stuff in the silage pit from now on, though. They'll have their own designated areas to make it nice and realistic and simple because we know exactly where everything is. But yeah, looking at this area, it's just the same as version 1. You have to go beyond where we were before to see what is new. Actually, do we have to come back up here? There is a combine. I don't think there's a header trailer. Right, this thing is pretty noisy. Uh, we'll just take it back to the yard. We do actually have a new combine. So, chances are, most of the time we won't even be using this. We don't even own this field. We're crushing somebody else's crops here. Yeah, we're not going to uh, use this one today at least. Uh, we could start off with a bit of a harvest because, well, we're not desperate for money. But we do need something to do. How are the animals doing? Have we lost them or do we still have them? Uh, we don't have those. Actually, no, before there was no uh, lamb or beef. I think, yeah, it's lamb instead of pigs. We don't have the pigs on here. Uh, so that is a nice little addition. As for the cows, yes, everything has been wiped. So we're going to have to buy them again, which is going to be quite expensive. I guess you could say we could just add them in the XML file, but I don't really want to do that. We're going to do this properly. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing properly, as I do like to say. Uh, but we're going to be using the class tractor today. We're not going to use the fence to start off with. Will this fit, in? Will it fit down here? Uh, maybe if we lower the header slightly. There we go. Pull this up again there. And that pretty much just get it out of the way. Right. Stop. We don't need you again. It's a nice combine to have, but it is just a bit too small for our farm now. Now it's expanded so much, it's a bit, <laughs> it's on the small side. Uh, so, let's do a bit of teleporting. 
tractor needs to come back to this farm so I'll do that off screen yeah we still have the big John Deere as well what is it 7810 we do have a lot of stuff actually we have more tractors than we probably do need but it's nice because usually we start off right from the beginning we have to work from the ground up but with this series it's going to be sort of starting us off with pretty much everything we do need what I will be doing though in this series is things which I don't usually do for example sugar beet potatoes that kind of stuff I think it's going to fit in quite well did I even do potatoes with sugar beet before on this map? I don't think I did that is a bit of a shame but we're back so we can do as much as we want Okay, the Combine Harvester. Where is it? Not these. This one. It's in the middle of a field. <laughs> it's funny really because I think about two episodes before the end I harvested this field. And now it's obviously growing again without us doing anything. If we continue left out of here, that's a whole new area of the map. We do own this field actually, so we better not crush the crops too much. The Takano, I would say, is the best combine for the map. Um, you can, you could get away with having a Lexian, I suppose, but Dorset, I don't think, is really renowned for having great big fields and farms. It probably is something, and I don't even live in Dorset, so I don't know, but I do visit Dorset quite a bit, so I'm aware of what the countryside is like. Does this have a turbine? It does. Good. Right, quick. Get off the crops. I was sort of half considering uh, turning off saw mod. I might still do it actually. Because before it was a total failure, and that was just a few fields, and now we have loads of fields. So I don't really want to mess it up again. It was embarrassing the first time. And we are off. That was quite difficult. If you had a bigger combine, it just would not fit through the gate. So you've got to be very careful what machinery you choose. Obviously, you're free to do anything you want on your farm, but uh, as a recommendation, when Knaveswell is out, I recommend... Well, this combine, really. It's a fantastic thing. Or the equivalent, maybe a Case or a John Deere. But the Class Takano is not a bad piece of machinery. So what do we have? We've got field number 39 36, they're both grass fields, so a 50, 56 and 60. 58 however, it could be empty, or it could be a field for us to go to. Let's just take a look. Uh, no, <laughs> it's actually an empty field I think, so that's a bit unfortunate. It looks like actually looking at the map it's been harvested already. However, field number 34, that is a field we can go to. If we turn left on this main road here, we should be able to start over there. Now before you start thinking, oh, it's just going to be another series full of harvesting with a combine, no. No, far from it. Not at all. This is just sort of a, a breaking in episode. We're just going to get cracking, something to do. Obviously get a bit more income as well because we do need to buy the pigs. No, not the pigs, not the pigs. No, get out of that habit. The lambs and the uh, cows and the sheep as well so yeah we do need a bit of money this could be interesting these are pretty steep fields looking forward to it how do you get to it though I'm guessing there's going to be a track merging off to the side somewhere yeah I'll say just up here but I have calculated how many episodes this is likely going to be this series and it might sound like a very short series but it's actually 17 episodes because when we have done 17 episodes without missing any weeks it will be Farming Simulator 17 and yeah we're going to be doing loads of episodes on there of other stuff I might still continue with FS15 I haven't really decided I think it's going to depend on how similar 17 is to 15 if it's really similar then we won't be stopping this series at the release of 17 if it's totally different and I just can't bear going back to 15 I'm afraid that'll be it for this series, but I'm really hoping that it's going to be converted over to uh, 17. What am I doing here? I've gone to the wrong place. How did you get there? Oh, it's the first turning. It was the first one. One second. Sorry, everyone. Oh, you fool! What are you doing? You crazy driver. You just crashed into my header. I'm getting angry with the farming simulator drivers. Oh, I'm stuck on a post now. Oh. 
just look who are you bit of road rage here look what you've done look what you've done you've scratched my header trailer you you've scratched it uh yes why have you done that come on uh i might have to reset actually oh no what what we can do there is a way around this teleport to a different vehicle and then wait for the vehicles to move i suppose you can't see actually you can't see but after a few seconds they should disappear okay go back in a few seconds and they should have gone there we go that's how you do it it was all going so well right uh, turn right up here at least the header didn't fly off that would have been terrible and I'm guessing the field of our choice is the one at the top here and it's pretty big wow I didn't realize it was so big this this might take some time we'll start it today and finish it uh, next week it'll be because this is just the sort of starting off I guess you could say pilot episode because we did Southwest Norway yesterday so yeah so to do today uh, what we'll probably do is take the headlands off and might do some off-screen as well and then we'll just finish off for the first few minutes of t next week's episode and yeah there won't be too much of this harvesting on screen we've done an awful lot recently this is barley I think I think it's barley, yes it's barley uh, we do have sunflowers out and right as well which is what I want to focus on really, I don't want to do too much of these crops uh, we did them way too often It's not the easiest field to get into either. Very tight. It would have been ideal if we could have put the header on out of there. But I don't think we'll be able to lift it over the gate. So we'll just have to do it here. I believe this is actually a bigger header than what the Takano, well this model of Takano would usually take because the one which came with it I'm not using. Uh, cutter up is left shift and J. There we go. Come on, pull, pull off there. There we go, oh, almost. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's free, we've made a bit of a mess but we're ready to get cracking. Yes, this is actually the header off a mega, class mega combine, but it works just as well on here, providing you've got the automatic level mod for the header, because otherwise it doesn't really work too well. It tends to hit the ground. And off we go. might be a bit too loud actually. If it is, then I'll drop the sound. Right, I've just checked and it actually seems to be coming across okay. Same with the frame rate. The frame rate has really recovered. It's fantastic. Um, I did have to restart the computer before I recorded this video, so it was probably booting up some stuff in the background and I wasn't really aware of it. Hence the reason why we kept getting the lag spikes. It was probably just doing something. Uh, but now everything is sorted, all the processes in the background are done. It's very smooth. So 60 frames per second, although it isn't quite 60 frames per second, is going to look pretty good on YouTube, hopefully. And before, I used to upload in 1440p, but with a reduced bitrate, so you had this like grainy effect. Um, I'm actually only doing up to 1080p now, but the quality is better because it's the maximum bitrate you can possibly, well, maximum bitrate I can possibly render in um, with 1080p as a resolution, or 1080 as a resolution. So yes, the, the quality, despite it not being 1440, it should be still a lot better than 1440. And yes, it's uploaded at 60 uh, frames per second. Uh, so hopefully that is all good. I'm, I'm really hoping that this new internet is going to be uh, worth it. I think it will be. I actually did my first upload last night. That was the Chellington Farm Extended Series 2 Episode 1 multiplayer. 
and before I used to upload a 1.5 gigabyte video it used to take 20 hours absolutely ridiculous last night I rendered the video and it turned out to be 3 gigabytes so twice the size and it only took one hour incredible so really if I had done that same file size on my old internet it would have taken 40 hours to upload and it only took one so it's 40 times faster it's just fantastic and it isn't really that fast this new internet compare it to anybody else with fiber optic it's I suppose you'd say rubbish actually but for me it's a breakthrough and it's really going to improve this channel I can do longer videos although some days I won't be able to because I'll be busy during the day so I just have to sort of do a video at the end of it um, but on quieter days I'll be able to do multiple videos and hopefully longer videos as well I've got a bit of a thing about too long videos I don't really like to go over 35 minutes because the way I look at my videos is sort of short and sweet you don't want to watch too much in one go because some people do get bored also people who have come home from work don't have that amount of time just to sit and watch a video they want to relax but maybe they can't you know put their feet up for that long uh, so yeah 25 to 30 minutes is my optimum length but like I say sometimes it will be shorter if we're finishing off a job and sometimes it could be a lot longer than that but we'll just have to see um, we need to go and get the class axos tractor unless we use the fence I was going to use the class though um, yes the fence is already on the trailer so hmm decisions I don't know well let's just get to the top here if we can do we've got 10% left in the tank I should think it's showing what the where's the tank uh, maybe it's not advanced enough yeah that would look pretty good if it was all in there um, but yes 95% 5% space remaining. Let's just get back to the top and then we can unload. Let's get the auger out ready. We're not going to make it, but we can get close enough. Should be enough space there. Right, so the class Axos is here and yeah, it clearly doesn't have any trailer on it at all. Uh, these things are pretty mucky. I do sometimes get complaints that I wash my machinery too much, but I think as it's the beginning of the series, we can start with a nice clean fleet of tractors. And yes, that trailer for putting clean grain in isn't very nice. Yes, thank you notes mod, we know. Give it a quick rinse. Give the tractor a quick rinse too. And I think that will pretty much do it. Uh, oh, thank you. We know. Right. Beacons are required on both sides. Which we'll back into here. And we'll head up there. Lots of people did say before the only reason why they didn't like this series or didn't like this map was because it was too small. But I've already had people commenting. Wow, that was close. <laughs> I've already had people commenting saying, "Oh, I can't wait for this map now because it's." I liked it, but it was just too small for me. That's what they say. So now it's bigger. It pretty much just suits everybody. It's going to be when it's released. It's hopefully going to be such a highly rated map. And it deserves every download it gets, to be honest. I think it should have thousands of downloads. Uh, because it deserves it. There's clearly been a lot of effort put in here. And how you get such a clean incline, I don't know. I've used Giant Editor before. Admittedly, not since FS11. But to get a nice smooth incline like this used to be pretty hard. I don't know if it's any easier these days, but I'm guessing it's not too much easier. As for the release date though, I don't know. I'm recording this many days before the video is published, so it could be out now, who knows? Or it could still be a little while. We might just have to wait and see. 
Um, but the plan is to fill the trailer. That's what we'll do today. We'll fill the trailer and then I'll continue off screen doing most of it. Then we'll finish off at the beginning of next episode and then do a different job. We do need to do the animals desperately. We really do. It's looking like it's going to be about three combine loads to the trailer. Straw doesn't matter because it's going to be cultivated in. I think it pretty much will turn out to be three headlands anyway to the trailer. And yeah, looking at this field, it looks like the perfect field for the potatoes. This is most likely going to be the field of choice. It's a pretty big field, so a potato harvest will take a long time. But what I might do, as we can afford it on this series, we might hire in a couple or maybe even three harvesters. Three might be a bit over the top, but a couple. I did that on court farms, and except for the odd swerving across the field uh, from a few of the workers, it did on the, on the whole work pretty well. So, yes, I think we'll do that again. What a view. What an incredible view. I would like to thank Tomex55 for giving me the early access to this map and also for sorting out, well, working very hard actually. I know he's been quite busy um, doing this in his spare time as well. Um, sorting out a few little issues. Now I will warn you now, there could be some issues because this is still the pre-release version. Uh, one of them which could cause an issue is, you know when you're working in a field and it flashes up and saying you don't own this field? That could happen. This is an early warning. I'm told, or I assume, it will be sorted before the release. Um, but yeah, if it does happen, it doesn't matter. We'll just buy the field which is causing it. It really doesn't bother me anyway. Let's unload. 89% full. We're off again, doing the third and final headland. Yeah, when I do this on my own, I'm going to be setting off on a worker. I'll be doing the casting. And yeah, it should work a lot better this way. And here we are. I think actually it's going to turn out to be pretty much perfect. Uh, judging by the little drive control fill gauge, it looks like the trailer is 66% full. Uh, the inspection mod is also doing 66, so yes, that confirms it. So this is going to be pretty close. It might not even totally empty the combine. But we'll try and fit it in. Hope for the best. Now, looking pretty unlikely, it's 92% full. Oh, come on, it's so close. 99.9% .9 full. That is, could that have been closer? That's incredible. Anyway, uh, yeah, we can't get too excited. Let's just shut this thing down. And we'll go and sell this trailer load of barley. Which is the best place to go to then? We have loads of new places, so we need to find the best price possible. Okay, they're pretty much pretty much all the same, but Knaveswell stores seems to be the best for the barley. Six, seven, nine, only slightly more really. Uh, Knaveswell stores, annoyingly, is the place where we've been before. I would have liked to have gone to a, a new place, but we will do. We'll still go to a new place in this series. We're going to be uh, mostly actually on this side of the map anyway. The new area. So yeah, let's just head down here. And we'll get it sold. We're going to need diesel too. Only 61 litres left.
This could be interesting. Quite a tight turning there. It's a bit of a T junction, really, but yeah, <laughs> pretty tight. Right, okay. Um, just at the bottom of here is an Avesworth Stores. You can continue on from this road. It does continue to the new section. Um, but yes, like I say, annoyingly, uh, we're going to have to just go here for today. Next time, I'll try and tip at a new place. There was one place which caught my eye. I, yes, the King's Arms pubs. No, pub. <laughs> pubs, yes. There's not more than one. But that'd be a good, good, very good place to go to. The price isn't too bad for this. All this money is going to be spent on the animals anyway. But there we go. That is the very first episode on Knaveswell Extended. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, if you're not a fan of the combining, yeah, like I say, don't worry. We will be moving on to other stuff very, very soon. Um, but just as a bit of a taster of the, ep of the series, um, that is episode one. So thanks for watching, and please do join me again next week for episode two. Until then, thanks again, and bye for now.